photography is one of my favorite things. So I am always in need of a good backdrop. Today, I am going to make a dog graffiti wall. Using recycled cardboard, acrylic paint, cornstarch, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I start by taking a large piece of recycled cardboard. I use a ruler to measure how tall I would like the wall. I am making my wall 14 inches tall. Draw a straight line, cut on the line drawn, and remember to always have adult supervision when working with sharp objects. I cut another rectangle for the bottom. This one is six inches wide. I cut two for the sides, and I cut two rectangles of cardboard to be supports at the top. Begin gluing the cardboard together, starting with the bottom, then glue on the sides to make a shallow box room. Now it's time to paint. In a bowl, I mix paint. I'm using gray for a neutral color. Then I add cornstarch to thicken the paint. Stir until it has the consistency of a really thick batter. It's kind of like the pancakes that I make <laughs> when I do them wrong. We are going to use a technique similar to the one we used when we made our curl up and die salon. Paint the mixture onto the cardboard in small sections using the brush to add some really good texture. It kind of looks like stucco or plaster. Then I use a toothpick to draw in brick shapes. I find it easiest to draw a line or two at a time, then go back and make a little dividing line to separate the individual bricks. Use the toothpick to clean up the space between the bricks and define them. And just tap the excess onto one of the bricks. Add a little more plaster going around the edge so it looks like the plaster is breaking and revealing some bricks underneath. All right, so we have one small section down and now the rest of the box to go. I went kind of light on the bricks I'm really just focusing on that stucco texture. I've noticed a little cracking, but hopefully that just adds to the charm. But if you would like to prevent the cracking, you can mix school glue into the paint mixture. Allow it to completely dry to look like an old wall that could use a touch of paint. And we can get really creative. Use acrylic paint to make shapes, I'm just randomly painting some triangle shapes, creating blocks of color. To create a simple yet vibrant wall that is perfect for taking photos. But I want to add a little more. There is this local artist by the name of Greg Mike that creates these amazing murals all over Atlanta. So I am going to sketch a frog inspired by Greg Mike, then fill it in with brightly colored paint. And I can see this is going to take a few coats. I added a little shading, then I carefully outline it in black to give it a cartoon look. And a cool part of this project is that we can continue adding to our mural over time. To make it look like our dolls are helping out, take Q-tips and cut off the ends, cut strips of paper to wrap around the Q-tip, then roll it, adding more paper as needed, add glue to the end, to secure it. Making a paper roll on a Q-tip. Take a bead, place the paper roll on top, and push down, causing the center of the paper tube to rise. Push the Q-tip back down, 
paint the paper silver. Add a little paint dripping down to make cans of spray paint so the dolls can help out with the mural. If you find that the top is bowing a little, take cut pieces of cardboard, cover them with paper, then glue them at an angle to push the wall out and give it support. And now it's ready to take some photos. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuff and the frog vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting. Give a shout out to Bitter Water Breeze. What's up? My work of art is complete. Sophie, what have you done? Did you just vandalize a building? No, this is grandma's building. She asked me to paint something classy. So you chose a giant frog head with one tooth. Yeah, she's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs>